to Fabulosity for you and my name is Angie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click the subscribe button and then click the notification bell so when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. Like this video, make a comment, and share this video. If this is not your first time visiting my channel, well, welcome back, my queens, and welcome to my kings, and welcome to all the new subs. Okay, so we are at 544 subscribers at Angie Fabulosity, at Fabulosity for you. And I said to you guys, when we get, for every hundred, there will be a giveaway. So we're very close, we're very halfway. So there will be another giveaway. I will give you more details as we get closer to 600 subscribers. So spread the word, tell your friends and family, put it on social media, share my video, that we will be giving a giveaway for every 100 subscriber till we make 1,000 and 1,000 is gonna be a jackpot, baby. We gonna, I'm gonna really give a giveaway, okay? I'm just somebody that likes to give back to people that support me. So keep on liking my videos, making comments, doing emoji. Let me know that you're out there, okay? Watch my videos. And so I also wanna say, if you've been watching me and you have not subscribed to my channel, support your girl Angie and help me make this 1,000 subscribers, okay? And so that's going to be the end of that. And so you know what I'm going to say next. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Hey, it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Hey, it's Friday. It's Friday. Okay, I'm in my office slash den because I'm still celebrating my birthday. My birthday's real close and I just feel festive. I have friends coming over tonight and we're just gonna have a good time and enjoy and celebrate me. That's the best thing about birthdays, being celebrated. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I'll pull it back. So I'm going to show you my outfit I have on tonight. I have on Dolce & Cabana dress. It's a beautiful dress. It's an oldie but a goodie. Okay, I'm sorry you can't see my shoes. But I have on some Louis Vuitton sandals. And this is, this is the outfit of today. Now for those of you that are joining me for the first time, I always like to get flat for my kings and queens out there, okay? I think I did the job. I think I did it, all right? I just love doing this. Ta-da! I just love doing that. But I love this dress. It's an oldie, it's a goodie. And I felt like throwing it on today. So we have a great topic. So go get your drink of choice, go get your snacks, and come back because Angie's, Angie's on the line. I want you to call your family, call your family and friends, and let them know Angie's on the line. Email, text, share this on social media. Put a message in a bottle, baby, because Angie is on the line today, and we have some great conversation tonight. We have grown people conversations tonight about relationships, okay? So tonight, before I begin, I have my shades of the night. They are Versace sunglasses. And if you're here with me for the first time, I like to wear shades because I like to throw shades, okay? So when I start doing this, you know, I'm gonna cut up, all right? And then I got my bell tonight, I'm gonna be climbing up in here tonight, okay? All right, so we're gonna begin. Let's begin. Okay, so the topic of the night is going to be, how do you know when someone wants to commit to you in a relationship? That is the topic tonight. And so I'm gonna give you five tips on how do you know when somebody is ready to commit to you. I didn't write it down, so forgive me if I forget and I have to go back and think about it, but let's see how it goes. But at the end of the day, before I, I begin, I just want to say, before I begin the actual five tips, I want to say that 
it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of women that feel like these men when they date just want casual relationships. And I do understand how you feel. I have single friends and they come back and say, Girl, he ain't trying to be in no relationship. Girl, no, that man, he ain't trying to be in no relationship. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He's not trying to do that. And unfortunately, with social media and all of the things, and sometimes women have baggage that they bring in because the last man didn't treat them right, the last relationship, they were treated wrong, and they didn't get over it. And so you think, oh, every man just want to be casual, nobody wants to get married, nobody wants to be in a committed relationship, but that's not true. Because at the same time, I'm listening to men that say, hey, I'm looking for a good woman. Do you have any friends? Do you? I'm looking for a good woman, Angie. I can't find one. They, they play games just like the women. And so I'm looking, I always look like, wow, because I got so many friends that say the same thing you're saying. But at the end of the day, men love just like women love, okay? And sometimes they can love deeper. A lot of men are more emotional, believe it or not. And so they don't want uh, their hearts to get broke broken. Women, we don't want our hearts to get broken either, but we are more willing to jump off a cliff before a man. So, at the end of the day, you need to know the signs of when a person wants to be committed. And sign number one, when a person is not afraid to put a title on your relationship. Now, women usually don't run from titles. We're the ones that really want the titles. But a man will definitely run from a title. But now, when, when, when he is somebody that's ready to be committed to you, he will tell you, hey, baby, <laughs> you my woman. We're in a relationship. You man, I don't want you to date nobody. And some people might look at you like, that's old-fashioned. It's not because when I was dating my husband, that's exactly what he said to me. I don't want you dating anybody else. I want to be the only man that you're seeing because you're the only woman I'm seeing. And so, my queens, you always should know where you stand in your relationship. And when you do not know, then you need, if this man is not asking you where we are telling you what, how he feels and he wants to be in a relationship or he wants to just, you only see him, then you need to let that man know, where do I stand? You should always know where you stand in your relationship because if you guys are not on the same page, next, next, don't waste your time. When you become seasoned in this life, you don't have time to waste time. And as a man, if you feel like this woman is somebody that you're really interested in, but you too afraid to say, yeah, I want you as my woman. I want to be in a relationship with you. Then, and, and she might say the same thing because I talked to my single friends and I'm like, well, did you tell him what you're looking for? And they're like, well, I don't want to seem desperate. No, that's not being desperate, baby. That's not being desperate. That's being a grown woman. A grown woman is supposed to be able to tell a man what she wants. And a grown man is supposed to be able to tell a woman what he wants. Now, if, if you guys are saying things that you don't mean in your heart, but afraid to jump out the, to jump into it, then you both of y'all playing games. And this this not the, this not game time. And so for a woman, you have to be honest if this is what you want. And a man, you have to be honest. Tip number two. When somebody starts wanting to bring you around their family, introducing you to their good friends, to their family, that's a person that is looking to be in a committed relationship, that wants to be in a committed relationship to you with you. Because if you've been dating this man or woman and you ain't laid not one eye on her mama, 
girl. Baby, bye. That, that, that person is not trying to be in a committed relationship with you. Number three. When a person wants to start spending their time with you. That's a big deal because we all are busy. We work, we have children, some people have grandchildren, some people go to school, life, we go to work, and just don't have time. But if you in a if you want a committed relationship, that person gonna make the time. That person gonna carve out some time. That person gonna see you on the weekends, on their day off, they're gonna want to spend time with you. But if you constantly begging somebody for time. Because they're so busy. Then guess what? They're not trying to be in a committed relationship with you. Now, I'm going to back, backtrack a bit. When I mean being in a committed relationship, I mean you've been dating this person for about six months. And you don't if you don't see these signs, then that's a problem. That's a red flag. Okay? So, number four. When somebody is planning their future with you, planning things, uh, events. For example, the guy goes, "Hey, baby, let's uh, let's let's do some New Year's Eve, and it's 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 only May out here. Let let's do some New Year's Eve. Let's 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 go to." I want to go to New York. I always wanted to do that. I'm going to take you to New York and we're going to do that for New Year's Eve. Now, don't go by what somebody's saying now because you got to go by what somebody do. If this person is running their mouth and they not and they not putting no actions behind it, they're not trying to be in a committed relationship. But if he's sitting up making reservations and buying those tickets or she say, um, I'm gonna get us some. What's your favorite concert? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get us some tickets. It's gonna be about five months from today, and they go buy the tickets. Then that's a person that wants to be in a committed relationship with you, because it's some people they sitting out here dating, and they've been dating this man for I say for for six months, and he still don't know. Uh, if he gonna take you out to dinner, he still can't commit on that. That's not a man that wants to be in a committed relationship with you. And number five, number five is when that person starts sharing their dreams and goals, saying and using the word "we." Well, you know, maybe in five years, I see us buying a house. We can get a house out here, or you know, I'm thinking about, hey, let's move in two months from today, or, you know, I'm ready to be in a committed relationship with you. I don't want you seeing nobody else. I want you to be just me and you. It don't get no better than that. Then that's, that's a big sign right there. They're ready for a committed relationship. So my queens and kings, I just gave you your five tips. It is really hard out here dating and and all of the things trying to decipher what somebody wants what they don't want but understand this and i'll keep saying it a man might not know what he wants my queens put a pen in it but he knows what he doesn't want okay he knows what he does not want and so if you've been in a relationship and this goes both ways men and women for six months and that person, and there's another tip. You've been in a relationship for six months and that person still have a, a, a wall up and you can't get close to them and they can't be vulnerable with you. That person is not trying to be in a committed relationship. That's that's a that's a, a bonus tip, okay? And so with that being said, I a few months, a few weeks ago. I had asked, I was at a party and I was talking to some couples and we were all, and we were just having relationship conversation and we talked about how you knew this person was somebody you wanted to be in a committed relationship with. 
and it was very interesting. So check this out and I'll be right back. Here's my next question to the men. So you are 50 plus, hmm, okay, say 45 plus, even 35. You've been in a relationship for over five years. How do you see your woman? And how do you introduce them? How, what, what, what do you say when you introduce them to someone? This is my what? I'm going to answer that first. Uh -oh. Yeah, I said me. Okay, you got Tony. It's for the men. This is for the men. This is a oh, question for the men. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> how are you going to answer the question? Well, okay, so. It's, you you trying to say that this is my? You say girlfriend? Do you say woman? Do and you say, you're not married, right? Not married, and you're not engaged because oh. ain't no ring. Oh, well then, girlfriend. That's that's. Even my though lady. You, you yeah. can say huh? my lady. Yeah, my lady, my, my lady, girlfriend. My woman. Yeah, my, this, 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 my, this my, my woman. I say my Better woman. Have because my significant to me, it depends on your age. If you was in your twenties, because you then you say your girlfriend. Right. But after that, yeah, I'm gonna say you. That's my man. That's my woman. Right. Right. Okay. I'm going to say this my woman. We okay. passed girlfriend okay. at, at our age. Right. Um, so, it depended on the relationship. Mm -hmm. The relationship I have with her, I know what our destiny is. Mm -hmm. It's no question. Oh, at first, it was a question. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be married. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them people that's happily single. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I like a variety. But she a variety of what? Women. But you like a came, variety of women, but you have a woman. She came Not into now. my world. Well, no, he said oh, that. Oh, what he used to have. She came right. into my well, world and that. made me say, hey, this is somebody I should kiss. I was in a relationship with somebody before her for five that. years. And, and I told not, her from day one. And from day one, he did not commit. I'm not committed. In five years, he did not say, I am committed. Oh, we are I'm in a relationship. I've been for five years. years. I have not been with another woman for two and a half years. And I have what not the, been what? with another and one. So when he said that, then I know. And I'm so you, I'm it depends smart. on the relationship. Well, so let me just say this. Out, what she's putting out, see, women fail to really, women just think men should automatically want them. Done drywall on my I do IT support. I hung the drywall, she doing the mud. So you all have things in common, common out. Exactly. She's a helpmate. She's a true helpmate. That's right. She is what you yeah, it's She's exactly. wife material. She's wife right. material because let me, me. when you let me, me. let me let me cut you. Let me cut you on wife material. Let me throw a piece of gem in for ladies that are out there watching. A man might not always know what he wants, but he know what he don't want. Right. And so for you exactly. to say she's wifey material, then she's wifey material. A man I always know what he don't want. We might not know exactly what we want, what we do want but I know we what know we don't want. want. You got I that shit right. And she's not in a relationship that didn't leave, wouldn't even say that this is my woman. I was, huh? Five years. I can attest to that. I can. I can. You talking for Kevin? Yeah. yeah I never said oh, that. I never he never said that. that. Never I never told her. Never never and when she and when she pinned me down, kept asking me questions. Like, man, I see it. other people. Yeah, show me. Now, Miss Missy, right here, you that is you, a fact. you have something to say. You look like you got something to say. <laughs> she probably ain't gonna take that shit. See, you gotta be in team. Don't take that shit. I gotta see if she gonna be on our team. Cause me and Angie already on the team. Yeah. So you look like you got something to say. No, I I agree with her. I'm on team. Don't take that shit. So when did you decide that this was the man for you? Oh, she was sprung in the first. No, he oh, thinks okay. he thinks that I was sprung because I'm nice. I'm like her in some ways. I'm a giver, so he thinks that I was sprung from the beginning. But you, you can do things you with a, a sound mind and consciousness and thinking like, okay, you know, you know, let me when see I'm what gonna, he's gonna I'm give gonna back. You back, right? Let when me was see the first time you knew Eric. that this man was for you? What when I realized the kind of heart he had, this is what happened. So he could have been a thug or been whatever he thought he was, but he said he he was. We were walking in the yard, and he, he said a worm. Okay, he seen a worm 
stuck on the sidewalk and I looked at him and he picked up the worm and put it over there in the dirt. And I said, if he cares for a worm that no one else cares about, he got a good heart. And then the fact that he raises other people's children. He loves animals. Like he has a good heart. He has a good heart. Well, let me just say this. I, the, the, the smile on your face lets me know that you guys are so in love. Both of y'all are smiling. You just laugh, just thinking yeah. about what happened. I can tell how he's tapping my foot. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's my baby. I'm telling you, I tell her I love her every morning. That's I be beautiful. doing that shit whole oh, wow. I be okay. sitting on the fucking toilet, uh -oh. love uh -oh. and joy be in my heart, and I come out uh -oh. the bathroom just fucking with her. I be wanting to jump on the bed. He does. On my he wakes me up in the morning with his big old cheese. Y'all already on honeymoon mode. I see the sky. I don't understand it. But you know what? It ain't worn out. And it's, it's almost three years. You're right. And it's and going on three years. Thing. And I still feel the same way. Oh, Diane, that's the way I say you can say that. Diane, did you have to come back? If I can't walk with my husband in your wedding, don't invite us to be here. It's somebody. Hey, you know best friend got to be there. Okay, so wasn't that interesting? It was interesting how as you get become a seasoned person and you're dating out here, you don't know what that person should call you when they introduce you to their family and friends. And so Bridget was the woman that asked the question, what should a man call you? And that's very interesting because as you date and you're a seasoned man or seasoned woman, you sometimes don't know what to say. But the proper thing to say, as I said, and it was said, if you're not married, you're not engaged, then and you're over the age of 25, then guess what? This is my woman would be correct. Or this is my partner. And then we heard the other couple speak about how they met and how they're still in love. They've been together for three years and how they are still in love. And they're they're not married, but they're in a committed relationship. And so it was really interesting to hear the conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to say to my kings and queens, always know where you stand in a relationship. And don't waste time with people if you feel like you guys should be somewhere and you're not, meaning if you feel like you should be already in this committed relationship and this person after six months is still not there, then move on. Don't waste your time. And on that note, stay in peace and not in pieces. And thank you for watching my channel. One.